Yo, Skeptic here, and welcome back to another episode of A Journey Towards the Moon Lord. We've reached the 10th episode of this series, which makes this the longest running Let's Play that I've ever uploaded onto the YouTube channel. To celebrate this milestone, I pondered on a couple of ideas, but I eventually settled on doing a double upload. So today, not only will you be getting this Terraria episode, in addition, you'll also be getting another video of a random game that I've specifically chosen. And with all that out of the way, let's get into the 10th episode, shall we? All right, we are back and off camera, on stream, I killed the queen bee. I didn't even know why it spawned. It just randomly spawned in the jungle. Well, in the underground caves of the jungle biome. And I have no idea why it spawned, but I eventually killed it. And, oh yeah. The nurse died. I don't remember when. And she's not respawning like the other NPCs. And I think it's because of the corruption. And so, without the guide, I think the game is going to be a lot harder. So, I'm going to be using the wiki for various things. The Terraria wiki, specifically. But, I'm not going to look up any types of boss information that allows me to either defeat them in a relatively easier manner. Or on how to summon them essentially. So I'm going to look up certain types of information that's basically not boss related because if I don't have the guide, I genuinely just do not know what I'm supposed to do. And this series would be even longer than what I initially would want it to be. But anyways, I've grinded for quite a bit for some titanium, and I finally got enough for a full armor set. And I don't remember who said this in my Twitch stream. I think it was Aether Knight, if I'm not mistaken. But they said that the titanium pickaxe just wasn't worth it. So I'm just going to craft the full titanium armor set. So I'm going to craft the... Titanium Mask, which gives me increased melee damage and critical strike chance. Definitely want that. I definitely would like the Titanium Breastplate. And the Titanium Leggings. So let's just wear that real quick. And that's about all we can craft. Okay. So let me put this back up and let me put my armor in this specific chest here, sort it out. Okay, so now I'm honestly not sure what to do because I just wanted to specifically grind for titanium so that I can take on more bosses. I found Skeletron Prime earlier. And I ran away from him, and I don't know if Skeletron Prime will respawn. Uh, but if I can't find any other bosses, I might just try to fight him and only him for this episode. But who knows? Another boss might just randomly show up. Oh, that's right. I remember off stream as... Whoa. What is this little rune thing? What? Wait, wait, wait. What's the set bonus? Attacking generates a defensive barrier of titanium shards. Whoa. That's pretty sick, actually. So let me summon my minions here. If I don't find any other bosses, I might just try to uh, resummon Skeletron Prime and just fight him specifically. And only him for this episode. But I remember off camera or off recording that 
the Eye of Cthulhu, or I guess the twins, right? They just randomly spawned. And it could happen again. I don't know how to resummon them, but it might just happen again. So I'm going to be waiting for quite a bit for either the, the twins to respawn or another boss. So in the meantime, let's just go visit Skeletron Prime and see if he respawned or not. So let me use my magic conch so we can get there a bit faster. We're going to go this way. And we don't have the nurse to, to clutch this time. We don't have the tech anymore. So I feel like we're going to really struggle in this episode. So we may or may not be able to defeat him. We'll see. Yeah, Skeletron Prime is n not here. Um... I know he spawned somewhere around here. I don't remember where specifically. I'm going to keep looking around. Because I don't know where else I should go. In terms of... Splunking. Or going underground. Because my main goal was to get titanium armor. And now that I have it, I'm not sure what else I'm supposed to be doing. Oh my god, this thing is fucking me up. Yeah, there's like nothing here. Oh, we're in the winter biome. Yeah, and there's like nothing here either. I mean, if nothing happens on the surface, maybe I'll go underground and maybe we'll find something. But honestly, I kind of doubt it. What is that thing? What is that? An ice golem? We got nothing from fighting him. Okay. Well, that sucks. Oh, wait. I got a frost core. Whatever that is. Alright. We're just going to keep going. Your movement speed has been reduced. Another ice golem here. Let's just get him a little bit here. Oh, okay. I don't know what's going on here. There we go. Uh, we should probably go back. I am chilled, so I'm just going to use my mount here. Oh, wow. My mount is also affected. Okay, never mind. We're just going to keep going back home. Because this movement debuff is actually affecting me a lot. Like, I feel like movement is a really good stat in Terraria. Or especially in Terraria. Like, being able to outrun your enemies or being able to reposition yourself. I think that's very valuable. I'm just gonna keep going here. Okay. Yeah, there's just nothing here. We're almost back home already. So, 
what I might do is I might just cut the video here. And then I'll come back if anything actually spawns. And if nothing spawns, then it might just... It might just be a chill episode, honestly, for the 10th episode. And this episode might be underwhelming if nothing actually happens. But honestly, I think I'm okay with that. I'm just happy that we've actually reached the 10th episode. Like, this is such a huge milestone for me. So, yeah, I'm going to cut the video here. And if anything happens... I'll cut right back. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, I'm back. And on the bottom left, it says a solar eclipse is happening. And I don't know what that means. And some evil music is playing. So I'm very scared right now. What is going on here? A solar eclipse. Okay, what does that mean? What's going to happen to me? I'm looking around. So far, we're good. And I hope I'm still recording. Actually, let me check real fast. Okay, we are still recording. Because last time... Well, not last time, but... I know in one of my episodes, I literally missed a boss fight because I thought I was recording and I wasn't. Um, yeah, I don't. Huh, okay. It said a solar eclipse. What was it? A solar eclipse is happening. I mean, the eclipse just happened. I forgot when, was it? May when that happened? I don't remember when. I was thinking about looking at the solar eclipse, but I was like, eh, they'll have YouTube videos of it, so I don't really care. Like, I don't know. The solar eclipse just wasn't that fascinating to me. Or it wasn't interesting enough. For me to actually go outside and and to look at it myself. I was just like, they'll have HD videos of the solar eclipse. I don't really need to look at it myself. That's how I thought of the whole thing. But anyways, I'm getting a lot of money right now. Wait, could the solar eclipse basically be another version of like... The Blood Moon? So, the Blood Moon would be more of like, I don't know, the Crimson Biome, and and this Whimsical Biome is a Solar Eclipse equivalent of the Blood Moon event? I don't know if that's correct, but that's what I'm thinking. But we're in the jungle now. So, I... Okay, let's go back home. Let's see what happens here. Okay, well... Everything looks normal here. Which is odd. Um, anything here? No, nothing here either. Huh. I don't know then. I have no clue. So I guess we're just gonna keep duking it out. So, yeah, like I said before, I'm very happy that I reached the 10th episode, and I want to keep going with A Journey Towards the Moon Lord. I'm having a lot of fun with the series, and I don't plan on stopping soon. Now, I'm not saying that there isn't a possibility of me stopping the entire series in general, but the probability of it is not super high. Is what I'm trying to say. So, if I do end up stopping the series, or if I do end up quitting entirely, um, honestly, I would be satisfied. I reached 
10 episodes, I got out of pretty hard mode. And I got to know a lot of cool things about Terraria. I really love the art style, the power scaling, the bosses. I... I like the game more than I initially thought, and I'm very happy about that. So, yeah, that's everything I wanted to say about A Journey Towards the Moon Lord and Terraria. Now, after A Journey Towards the Moon Lord, I'm thinking about doing Digimon Survive as my next series. Because I've been dying to play that game since... I saw the initial trailer and I haven't gotten to it because of life stuff and so next year I really want to do a let's play on it will I do all the endings I don't think so I'll probably just do one ending and then for the rest of the endings I'll just do like a twitch stream of it or maybe a YouTube stream. I'm not too sure. I could just do VODs maybe. Of the other endings. Like chop down VODs. But I'm not sure. If I want to fill up my YouTube channel with more VODs. But. I don't know. I guess. We'll see. What I do. Uh. We'll see what happens when we get there. I don't want to jump the gun here. So, yeah, after this night is finished, I think I'll just wrap up this episode. It was uneventful, but honestly, I'm okay with that. I don't mind a chill episode. Because with every boss fight episode, you gotta have a chill episode every now and then. And it just so happened to be the 10th one. So yeah, I'm looking forward to playing the mystery game that I'm going to be uploading on the channel. And by the time you see this episode, it's already going to be up. About around maybe like an hour later from the A Journey Towards the Moon Lord episode. Or maybe I'll release it at the same time. I'm not too sure how I want to do this, but... It's going to be fun. It's going to be a fun game for me, at least if I get it to work. If it doesn't work, then I'll just play like a Minecraft map or something, but I think it just might work though. And I think it'll be pretty hilarious. Dude, I'm gaining so much money right now. And honestly, I don't want to lose all of my money. So I'm going to go back inside and I'm going to quick stack everything. Here we go. Okay. I don't want to lose all the money that I've gained. But this titanium armor is so powerful, so I'm not too worried. And the Breaker Blade is also... This weapon is just so good. Like, there's just no reason for me to upgrade it right now. Or to try to craft another sword. Like, the Breaker Blade is just doing so much work for me. And, yeah. Digimon Survive will be the next major series that I'm going to do. On the YouTube channel. And... What else? Oh, I'm also pretty excited... About the Switch 2. Like... I... I'm leaning towards the Switch 2 on being... Kind of like a Switch Pro. Where like, they're not going to make a lot of significant changes to the Switch. It's just going to be the Switch, but with better specs that's what i'm assuming now i'll be surprised if they do a whole new gimmick with the switch 2 i'll be very surprised but with the nintendo switch's like initial success 
honestly, I don't think they have to change too much. Like, just have the hardware be better, and honestly, people will buy it. I mean, people bought the Switch OLED. So, I wouldn't be too surprised at people buying a Switch 2 or a Switch Pro. And obviously, there's going to be, like, a new Mario game, a new Zelda, a new Pokemon on the Switch 2. Like, that's pretty obvious. I don't think anyone would be too shocked at any of those games being a launch title for the console itself. Now, what I'm curious about is if... Mario Kart, a new Mario Kart, will be on the Switch 2. Because Mario Kart 8 has been out forever now. Like, since the Wii U, if I'm not mistaken. So, I think it's about time we get a new Mario Kart. And I love Mario Kart Double Dash. I think Mario Kart Double Dash is the best Mario Kart game of all time like i love the whole like doubles mechanic and like the whole like special items it was just really cool and seeing you swap out like your characters like it was just really cool overall like it felt different and i really hope they do something drastic like mario kart double dash or honestly if they brought back the whole like team or doubles mechanic i would be so happy like, I would get Mario Kart 9 or 10, like, day one. It, no questions asked. So, if they come out with, like, a new Mario Kart, or they make Mario Kart 9 or 10 the launch title for the Switch 2, man, the sales are gonna go crazy. Like, Nintendo will just be making bank. Because I've, and I would say many other people as well, have been waiting for so long for a new Mario Kart now. And honestly, this new Mario Kart could also do the same thing that Smash Ultimate did as well. Where they basically bring back all characters in the previous installments, or from the previous installments. And that would just be insane. Like, having, like, a big cast of characters in Mario Kart and doing, like, guest characters, or at least more guest characters in Mario Kart would be really cool to see. <laughs> like, having, like, Shadow in Mario Kart or, like, Virgil or Dante, that would be pretty cool, actually. Captain, wait, is Captain Falcon in Mario Kart? I don't think so. I don't, yeah, I don't think so. I don't know. But it would just be really cool to see a lot of, like, other big gaming IPs and characters in Mario Kart. But if that's the case, then Mario Kart 10 or Mario Kart 9 or whatever they call it would have to basically be the magnum opus. Like, it would have to be the last installment. Because how would you top that? How would you top Mario Kart Ultimate? Having all of the characters make a return from the previous games, and on top of that, adding really cool guest characters? You're not gonna top that. Unless you do a huge mechanical change, or you do like a, a big reset. Like, I just don't see you topping that at all. But yeah, it doesn't seem like this zombie apocalypse thing is ending. Like, this night has been going on for quite a long time, and honestly, I don't know why. It is the solar eclipse after all, so I get it. Oh, it's 6pm now. Okay, well. I think I'm just going to wrap up the episode here, because not a lot is happening besides me just farming all these mobs. So, yeah, I, I think that's about it for this episode. 
So, thank you everyone so much for watching the video, if you got this far. I hope everyone here has a great day, afternoon, evening, wherever you're at. And, until next time. Bye! Okay, I lied. This is not the end of the episode. Apparently, the twins just randomly spawned. I don't know why they're here. Oh god, okay, oh god, okay. Here we go, here we go, here we go. We're, we're going, we're going. We're running, we're running. Okay, we're gonna go run all the way over here. Looks like this episode isn't uneventful after all, and I'm happy for that. Let's go. Okay, okay. So we're gonna chill here on our arena. I think we can win this. I think we can win. I th Oh, okay, maybe. This one's a little bit hard. But I'm running here. I want to get the other eyeball, but they're not budging. Okay, we're going to have to dodge these quick attacks for a minute here. Looks like the right one is after me now. The left one is after me. They're attacking in patterns. Oh, I gotta be careful here. Oh, God. There's so much to dodge. I don't know if I can win this. This is tough. I don't know what to do. I'm lost. No, I'm gonna lose. I'm gonna lose. I'm gonna lose the fight. There's not much I can do. I, I, I lose. I lose. I lose. Oh my gosh, what do I do? What do I do? I'm gonna run. I'm gonna run. I'm gonna run. I'm gonna run. What do I do? Okay. I'm gonna teleport back. Does the boss reheal? Oh no, the boss regens. Oh my goodness, the boss regens. Oh sweet lord, they're coming back. Oh god, the boss regens. Why do they regen? I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. I'm so dead, I'm so dead. Yeah. Well, we still weren't strong enough to take them on, huh? Well, it is what it is. <laughs> well, anyways, that's the real end of this episode. Again, thank you everyone so much for watching the episode. Uh, if you got this far. So let's go down this way. Oh, what the heck? Okay, what's going on? Queen B has awoken. Okay, well, I did not expect a boss battle so soon. Okay, hello, Queen B. How are you today? All right, come on. Come on. Yep, yep. Okay, Queen B doesn't look too challenging. Okay, there we go. Let's chop you up for a little bit there. Yep, yep. Doing some work, doing some work. Okay, let's heal up a little bit. There we go. There we go. One more hit. And almost, almost. And you're done. Okay, wow. That was surprisingly easy. I didn't think taking down the Queen Bee would be that easy. But hey, I mean, that's another boss down. So I'll gladly take it.